Lots of YouTube now recently started reading this book by Cal Newport called Deep Work and it talks about how important it is to have deep focus sessions where you focus on one task only and that reminds me of the app that I'm using for these deep work sessions called Forest. And I realized I never did a full walkthrough of the app and how I'm using it so I figured out it would be great to make a video about it and talk to you guys about it. So. Here we go. So when you open up Forest, you're going to see this screen which allows you to plant a tree and start a deep work or focus session. Set it to the amount of time you want to focus for, like 20 minutes. And then that tree is going to grow for 20 minutes and if you touch your phone during that time period, it's going to die and the tree is gone. The goal of the app is to plant as many trees as you can. You can take a look at your forest, see how many trees you planted over time, compare with friends if you get the premium version, even plant trees together and in the end you accumulate a kind of in-game currency which you can see on the upper right of the screen. I get 248 coins right now and if I get a certain amount of coins I can plant a tree in the real world. So it's helping you to focus and also helps out the environment. I talked about the app for a bit on this channel already so I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm using it because some people are confused. So you are able to whitelist stuff, say Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you wanna listen to if you're on Android. And then there's also a browser extension which I also use mainly when I'm editing YouTube videos. Um, so as to not to go to any website, but you could also whitelist some websites like Wikipedia or Google Images or something if I'm in need for some b-roll images for my video. Basically you can cheat the app. You can cheat. There are ways to get around it if you're using a voice assistant for example to access some stuff. It doesn't count as unlocking your phone while you're still using your phone. You can just whitelist anything you want and get through with it. Just whitelist any app that you're using. But that's not the point of the app. Some people think the point of the app is to plant actual trees in real life and accumulate coins but it's kind of like a timer for yourself and you have to set boundaries for yourself. So I'm trying to focus now. I know which websites or apps are causing distraction and that I want to block. So I'm just gonna use them. I don't really care that much about the coins I'm accumulating. I like the sense style of looking at your forest, see what you accomplished, but you could just set the timer at night for two hours, which is the maximum and just get coins that way or just use a phone just to accumulate coins and just let it lay around. So that's not the point of the app. The point of the app is to kind of have some gamification in order for you to stop being distracted. So when I want to grab my phone I see I still have the timer on, I shouldn't be going on Instagram right now and that way it kind of makes it harder for me get distracted because there's some pain associated with it like a pain driver someone used that word recently so if I would interrupt that focus session it would kind of hurt me because I would see the tree die and in my control to set the boundaries I have and actually set up a timer so it's kind of like a gamified kitchen timer Pomodoro timer if you know what I mean using Pomodoro method which just allows you to focus for a certain amount of time uh, then you can recharge or whatever have a pause but it's really well built around that it has a great mission or idea of helping the environment by helping people focus it's cleanly designed you can Google Trends, I can walk you through the app again, I'm going to try to do another recording. But yeah, I can choose different trees, I could go for something more fancy if I choose to invest in game currency. The ones that I got were free for a limited time, um, which is awful when you are planning for a shorter amount of time. I think they recently changed that, so you could just choose whatever you want to plant. Uh, you can see timelines, this statistics on how much you focus, in what time period, which websites you visited and that stuff. Um, I successfully planted a tree a few days ago. 
Um, what else do we have? We got friends. I can compare what my friends are focusing on. Um, get on the leaderboard, which is nice. See achievements, which is quite interesting because it unlocks a lot of in-game currency. And it's kind of another element of gamification. I don't know why it takes long to load. It usually doesn't. Um, we got the in-game sword to get new trees. You can check that out, I guess. Classic trees. There was like a tree design contest, so they kind of cross-sourced it and let people vote on which one to take. Focus sounds. I'm not really using that. It's like background ambient noise. News real forest, which is where you are able to plant a real tree for 2,500 coins. I right now I have 250, so I would need to focus a bit more, unlock some more achievements, do some more focusing. But yeah, definitely it's possible. It just said there were 625,000 trees, 625, 625 trees planted already by everyone using the app, which is impressive. Um, but I would say if you want to make a donation plan trees, choose a different service to directly do it. Like team trees just happen. Um, and you can get there a lot faster. If I want to check out my forest um, this week, I only plan one tree. Um, you can kind of see what it looks like. A month, it just reset month. Let's see if I can change to December. Yeah, it's a lot more in December. It looks quite cool, you kinda of see what you accomplished and I think it's I think it's a cool feature. Okay, let me walk you guys through how I'm using Forest as a browse extension in Safari or Chrome. I'm using Safari here. Say that I'm working on a Google Docs document for writing another script for another YouTube video, documentation, resume, whatever. Call this one documentation. I'm gonna press that button for forest right next to honey, honey which is a great program extension as well. And I'm gonna start planting a bush for just 15 minutes by pressing it here. It says stop surfing the web. I can work on whatever I'm working on. Stay in that tab, don't a open another website. Writing on my script, what's up YouTube? And let's say I'm opening a new tab, go into another website, see what happens. It warns me that my tree is still growing. I can give up now. Of course I shouldn't, I usually don't see that screen. Since I know my timer is still going. But I, I think it's cool that it gives you a warning instead of just killing the tree. And if I close that tab, keep on working here. I should be fine as long as I'm staying here. Time is still going and what's cool is that the time or coins you accumulate and the time you focus sync between devices so I can uh, collect points both on mobile and on my computer which is quite cool and as I said I'm usually just using that when I'm editing so when I'm not even in a web browser mainly and sometimes I really impress myself as to how much I get done in that short amount of time because I usually set it to like 25 minutes and then I realize I'm done editing what I wanted to edit in 20 minutes and I still have time left. So I kind of underestimate of how much I can really produce if I'm, if I'm forcing myself to focus and that's what Forest is about in a way. Anyways, I hope you guys get a good impression of how to use Forest, what's in the app. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos on Forest and other stuff. See you next time. Bye.